Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Canadian National Railway stock. I will discuss their business, their future plans for 2022 and beyond, their dividend, the risk associated with this company. And finally, I will provide a detailed stock analysis using my personal discounted future earnings model and will then provide you with a fair value of this stock depending on your investment goals. The company HQ is located in Montreal, Quebec, and their shares are traded on TSX for almost 144 Canadian dollar at the time of recording this video. They pay a dividend with a starting yield of almost 2%, and the market capitalization of the company is around 100 billion Canadian dollar. Canadian National Railway is one of the largest Canadian companies and a recession-resistant business, which was able to consistently grow their business and their dividend in the last 20 years, despite various economic challenges we had in the world. This is also one of the largest holdings of the Bill Gates portfolio and a lot of other hedge fund managers around the world, which shows the quality of their business. As such, it is important to know more about their business and see the valuation of the stock at the moment, which is what you will see in this stock analysis video. Before starting the video, I want to emphasize that I'm not a financial advisor. This video isn't a financial advice for you to buy, hold, or sell this stock. This is just my personal opinion. You should always do your own research before making any financial decision. With that being said, let's start this video. CNR own and operate the railways and related transportation businesses across a 20,000 mile network in Canada and US, which we can see it here. CNR is not only operate a railway business, it is basically the supply chain provider and owns trucks, vessels and docks, transloading and distribution, automotive logistics, and freight forwarding and transportation management services. The company's portfolio of goods including foundational and crucial items like oil and chemicals, grain and fertilizers, coal, metal and minerals, forest products, and automotive products. They are basically a funda fundamental player in supply chain in North America for transportation of the raw materials, energy products, and goods. The only other company which owns railways in Canada is Canadian Pacific Railway. As you cannot build new railways and there would be absolutely no competition for CNR, and as CNR services is crucial for North America's economy, CNR has a very strong business mode, and in my opinion, it is one of the safest business models and companies in the world that you can invest in. In the recent years, CNR was able to grow their earning per share or EPS consistently, which is mainly due to improving their margins and also buying back shares. In fact, CNR is aggressively increasing its dividend and buying back shares at the same time in the recent years to return value to investors. To understand the scope of their buybacks and also margin improvement, we can look at the current outlook of the management for the, for the stock. They initially expected 20% EPS growth and free cash flow growth in 2022, and then revised it to 15% growth due to macroeconomic events and fuel costs later in the year. But still, 15% is an impressive number for EPS growth of the company as of an established company like CNR. CNR has also significantly invested in ESG goals and progressing very well towards decoupling their growth from carbon emission, which is actually great and I really like what I see with CNR management here. They actually recently started to add electric trucks to their portfolio, which I think can help them to further improve their ESG goals. CNR has a long history of paying out and increasing its dividend year over year. They more than doubled their dividend in the last seven years, as you can see here. And at the same time, they bought back shares of the company, which is definitely one of the most consistent records on one of the fastest dividend growth rates and value return to shareholders among all of the Canadian companies. They also have a low payout ratio, which means they will probably be able to continue to increase this dividend year over year for foreseeable future. As I mentioned, CNR has a very strong business mode and they also have low level of debt and huge amount of free cash flow, and therefore the core business is pretty safe. The three main potential risks for CNR are advances in technology, stagnation of the revenue growth, and devaluation, which I want to discuss them quickly here. The first one is advances in technology, which may someday makes railways a less efficient way of transporting goods, but I don't think that kind of technology will be here anytime soon. 
Actually, it is expected that railways take even more market share than from trucks in terms of the transportation of goods in North America in the future. So I don't think CNR is going to lose its moat anytime soon. The second concern is a real one in my opinion. CNR wasn't able to increase its revenue by much in the last few years, which is kind of concerning. They mostly focus on improving the margins and buying back shares to increase their earning per share number. Uh, but yeah, uh, this, this is concerning. Last one is valuation, which if you compare CNR figures, uh, valuation figures with its historical averages, it is actually in line with those values. You're not buying CNR cheap or undervalued, but it is actually in line with its historical average. This is my favorite part of the video where I can show you my stock analysis based on the financial data I discussed in the previous parts of the video. I use the discounted future earnings model, which basically estimates the values for stocks based on projections for the future earnings. So I make some assumptions about the growth of the company in the next 10 years, and then discount the future earnings per share into the present value of the stock based on my expected rate of return. So I start with the past four quarter adjusted diluted earning per share of the company. And based on three different scenarios, I predict the future earnings of the company in the next 10 years. In the bear case, or the most negative case for the stock, the company can grow their earnings per share only 8% in the short term, and then the growth will drop to 6% in the long term. Again, I try to be conservative with CNR as they are an established business. I consider a terminal multiple of price to earnings of 14 for this case, which is consistent with historical bear periods for a railway stock. For normal case, I consider a little bit better growth and a terminal multiple of 18, which is historical average multiple for this company. For the bull case or the best possible outcome, I consider the business grow by 15% in the short term, and then it drops to 10% in the long term. And I consider a terminal multiple of 22, which is a bull multiple for CNR. 15% growth is not out of the realm of possibility for CNR and in fact the, the management of the company expect to grow this much in 2022. As such I assign a 50% chance to the normal case, a 25% chance to the bull case and a 25% chance to the bear case. For growth stocks I usually expect 15% return year over year and for dividend stable stocks like CNR I expect 10% return. So if I expect a 10% return from this stock, the fair value of the company is almost 117 Canadian dollar, which means compared to current share price of almost 144 dollar, the, the shares are traded at 18% premium, which means it's basically not a buy according to the model. Now let's change the expected rate of return to 7%. Now the fair value is $155 and it is a buy. So it all depends on your expected rate of return. It means if you expect 10% return on your money year over year, this stock is probably not going to deliver a return close to 10% in the next 10 years. But if you expect 7% return year over year for your money in the next 10 years, then you should buy the stock right now. It is always fun to see what analyst predictions are for a company and according to Yahoo Finance, the analyst price target for this company is currently at $163 per share for 2022 with a buy rating. It is a hold according to the research team, it is a sell according to CFRA analysts, and Thomson Reuters has a positive outlook for the company, which all means analysts have mixed feelings between positive, negative and neutral on CNR performance in the next year. In summary, CNR is a low-risk, consistent, recession-resistant Canadian company with a wide moat and a strong business model, which is growing its EPS and dividend with a relatively fast pace. The stock is currently traded slightly higher than its fair value for a 10% return year over year, and it pays at a starting dividend yield of close to 2%. I personally really like CNR and the management of the company, but I would wait a little bit more before starting my position to make sure I can hit my target of 10% year over year return in the next 10 years. Overall, I don't think you will lose any money with CNR in the long term, even if you buy it right here, right now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel to see similar videos. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video. Farewell.